I'm Jay Deere. I've been on top of Utah's real estate market for over 10 years. I will show you things about this market that you never knew. Welcome to Real Estate Essentials. I'm your host, Jay Deere. We all have a friend or family member that got an incredible deal on the house. The question is, how'd they do it? Well, if you pay attention to this show, I'm gonna show you not only what to do and what not to do, I'm gonna show you all things real estate. So stay tuned right after this break, we're gonna get started. Here's some good reasons why to do business with Michael Chevrolet. One, we're now open on Saturdays for parts and service. Two, you save on sales tax. Three, we have a shuttle service that'll pick you up, drop you off. You're in the market to buy a car, MyKail Chevrolet is rated the highest that you can get in customer satisfaction. The highest. And when you buy a car from us, you get two years and 24,000 miles free maintenance. I'm not lying. We're right across from the outlet malls, right off the freeway. MyKail Chevrolet. Why'd you go anywhere else? Come on in. ABC4 Utah wants you to ask the expert. During our 4 p.m. newscast, you'll see experts from Utah answering your questions on a variety of topics. Options Animal is here to help you take control of your financial future. Every Tuesday, we will answer your questions on the overall financial markets and how you can effectively manage your own investments. At Options Animal, we understand that nobody cares more about your money than you do. Just go to abc4.com expert and submit your questions to our experts today. We just got them. They're beautiful. Completely brand new car. You gotta come look at this. It's a V6. Gets great fuel economy. I mean, I really like this car. It gets me all excited. And then I see the price. And I see the gas line. And I see all the bells and whistles. I'm telling you, why am I not? I should be driving this car. Acura. Smart luxury. Mike Hale Acura. Smart choice. Come to Mike Hale Acura. We have them. Now you can have one. You can always find us on Mike. Hale.com 24-7. Welcome to Real Estate Essentials. I'm Jay Deere. On today's show, I'm going to show you some incredible houses as well as we're going to go over how to get your house ready to sell. And today I have with me Joanna and Joanna is getting ready to sell her house. And how can I help you, Joanna? Well, I have a house I want to sell uh -huh. and um, I really just want to know how I can create some value in that house. And I want to buy a new home afterwards. And get the most you can Exa possibly out of it? Exactly. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to give you the four Ds. I like to call them the four Ds. And these, the four Ds are you declutter, you deep clean, you deodorize, and you detail the yard. Okay? The first thing that people look at when they come to look at your house is actually the exterior. So anything you can do to the yard as far as uh, fertilize the lawn, pull weeds, plant flowers is huge. Okay? okay? They'll judge your house literally just walking to it. Okay? Right. The next thing is going to be declutter. If you don't fit inside the house, they feel like they won't fit inside the house. So if you can get a storage shed or something like that and get those things out of there, that's wonderful. Okay? Deep clean. People love a really clean house. You have a clean house, of course, but extremely clean is wonderful, okay? okay? And the next thing is deodorize. If you have a pet or anything, mm -hmm. anything you can do to get rid of those smells is wonderful, okay? okay. And then I'm going to give you the specialty. I like to, it's called the do not. Whatever you do, do not cook curry and do not <laughs> cook fish, okay? okay? Because I can't believe how many houses I go to and you walk in and it's just like, you about get knocked over from the smell, okay? okay. So during your sales process, do, do those things, okay? All right. Now, if you on, on most houses, if you want to spend a little bit of money, those things are free that we just talked about, but if yeah. you want to spend a little bit of money to get the best bang for your buck, the best thing you can do is do carpet and paint, okay? And in your house, it kind of costs you about $5,000 or so. Okay. Do you have the ability to come up with about 5000 You know, I'd probably have to get a loan if I wanted to do that. Okay. You may not want to do a loan because it actually could help your, or hurt your credit as you go to qualify for your next house. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you talk to Darren, okay? And okay. He's really creative coming up with ideas and how he can get you some money to fix up your house to get you the most money to get you to the next house, okay? All right. So okay. while you go to talk to Darren, let's go look at a couple of those houses. And we're headed down to Iron Mountain Park City. Across the street from this house, there's the Iron Mountain Trail. This trail was voted best trail in Park City. Yeah, and that just happened. And it's just the way you want to have a house, which is nestled right in those trees. And no, that's not a real cow. 
So what you want when you're living in Park City, you want that kind of seclusion, that privacy, right nestled in the trees. That's why they build them up here. And obviously this one is perfect. It's got a seasonal stream and of course all the decks that you ever want. So as we head in the house here, this, the seller of this house is actually an artist. So you'll notice she's got all these beautiful paintings and decorations through the house. They actually built this home themselves. It took them over three years. And they are the original owners. Yeah, that beautiful fireplace is one of the real cornerstones of this home. Something neat about that fireplace is that that top walkway, when you're walking down the hallway, you're actually walking through the chimney of the fireplace. Yeah, it's just absolutely, it's a huge fireplace. This house is a timber frame post and beam held together with wood pegs. There were no nails used in the frame of this house. Yeah, that's what we call that pier and beam style with the Park City flair. And you can see that beautiful Park City kitchen the way that it should be done. The kitchen is so open and accessible. It's just beautiful. Throughout this house, there are the radiant heating heated floors. That's right, yeah. So they actually, they heat the floors with water and then it, it actually travels up and heats the whole house. What a beautiful house, Jay. Yeah, absolutely incredible. I just absolutely love Park City and their beautiful style. You just can see they actually built that little playroom up above there. Jay, you and I have known each other for years, but I've never asked you the question of how you got into real estate. I've never known what your backstory was. Oh, uh, I was actually a, a, an electrician for years, and I was helping people install these really elaborate lighting systems in these beautiful homes. And you ever get shocked? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. You know what was really bad is is being an electrician. You uh, you wouldn't be getting shocked, but you'd feel like you're getting shocked all the time, you know? You know how you have your phone in your pocket and, yeah. it, and it vibrates? Yeah. And you have those feelings? Yeah. Well, and there's and then you don't have your phone with you, but you still have the feelings of vibrating. It's worse when you're an electrician because you're so jumpy because the minute you feel like you're getting shocked, you jump back from it. So that would happen all the time. <laughs> it was, that was horrible. Oh, my gosh. So I was working on an electrician and uh, having a good time, you know, installing all this stuff. But I just had dreams. I just... It was seeing all these beautiful homes. I just thought, you know, it'd be nice to sell these things. And so, and the nice thing about going into real estate, uh, that side of things and understanding how houses are built and the ins and outs and be able to walk into it and understand what you can change in a house and what you can't has helped me immensely. And so, as much as I didn't end up, uh, you know, as an electrician, even though I went to all the schooling and did all that kind of crazy stuff, it actually helped me out a ton in real estate. Those years of understanding houses and building them and remodeling them and all that kind of stuff. Because now I can walk in with clients and, and I can give them that insight into knowing what walls you can knock out and how you can change houses. Right, oh yeah. And not everybody has those kind of abilities to look at a house and say, we should change this and we should not change that, we should leave it. And so that's kind of, as much as, uh, I kind of look back and think I could have spent four more years in real estate. Maybe, maybe it was good for me. Oh yeah. Well, Darren, I got this. I, I got Joanna, and she's actually trying to sell her house right now. She needs to round up a little bit of money to help her, help her get this thing tip-top shape so she can sell it and get the most amount of money for her next sale. So I'm gonna have to contact her. Okay. How much okay. money does she need roughly? She only needs about five thousand okay. dollars. Not that big a deal. Okay. Yeah, we can come up with some good ideas. Good. Sure. someone dropping the ball on your mortgage? Recruiter professional, Darren Rhodes, Utah's mortgage pro. He's got the skills, speed, and experience to win the best financing for your home. So draft Darren today at utahmortgagepro.com. 
Searching down home flyers is so 1980s. You are ever driving around and you find your dream neighborhood, all you need to do is download Jade's free mobile app. Using this app you can search for homes, investment properties, and vacant land available using your phone's GPS. What you need to do is text JSLC to 8778. Text JSLC to 8778. I woke up not knowing if I was going to feel sick that day, not knowing if I was going to be able to go to school or go to work. I was extremely fatigued. I was sleeping probably close to 16 hours a day. It was a hard way to live because you don't understand what's going on in your body and you feel like you should be healthier in your habits and you just feel horrible. Are you suffering from low thyroid or Hashimoto's? Do you have any of these symptoms? Our breakthrough approach for low thyroid and Hashimoto's is here. I feel like a regular healthy person. I am Darren Rhodes, I'm with Castle & Cook Mortgage, and I'm sitting here with Joanna. And Joanna was sent to me by Jay, and she has a few questions. Thank you. I have um, a home I need to sell, uh -huh. and I'd like to know where I can get that money to fix it up. Okay, how much money are you looking for? Uh, about $5,000. Okay, 5000 So that's not really a lot of money, that's a, a little bit. So yeah. you have a lot of options. Okay. And the first place I would say, since it's a temporary loan, is go to a friend or family member that okay. might be able to give you $5,000 for just a couple of months, and then you can maybe offer to pay them a little bit extra, you know, when you uh -huh. pay them back when you sell the house. Okay. Um, There's some other places that you may not consider, or may not have considered, mm -hmm. um, uh, borrowing against retirement accounts, mm -hmm. uh, 401ks, for example. Uh, you might be able to borrow against a vehicle if you have equity in a vehicle, refinance into a low rate there. Okay. Um, but maybe one of the easiest places besides family would be a credit card. If you have a credit card that has a, a good limit to it, mm -hmm. has at least 5000 that might be a really good option because you're only going to pay interest on what you're using. Okay. Will that hurt my credit in any way? Well, you'll want to pull your credit, your credit report to see what your scores are okay. initially. Um, and if you've got good scores, you know, always adding new debt can hurt your credit. Um, but if you're going to use a credit card and use one that you already have, mm -hmm. then that won't damage your credit as much as opening a new one right away. Okay, gotcha. How about borrowing against my house? Okay, so you can borrow against your house in two different ways. You could do a full-blown cash-out refinance, mm -hmm. but I don't recommend doing that. It's a little bit of money that you need and you'd pay a lot in fees just to get that little bit of money. Okay. So if you're going to borrow against your house, which may not be a bad option, mm -hmm. I would get a little line of credit. Um, that would have low fees, you want to make sure it doesn't have any prepayment penalties mm -hmm. um, that you can use and then pay off when you sell the house. Okay. Will that hurt my ability to buy my next house? It shouldn't hurt your ability. As long as your credit scores remain intact, you're going to be paying that off anyway. Okay. How about the profit I make from it? What would you suggest I do with that? Okay. As soon as you sell your house, this is a really great question. Okay. Do not put the cash in a safe. Take the money, put it in the bank, and then keep a paper trail of that money because when you go to get your new loan, the bank is going to ask you where you got that money and you have to prove it. Okay. Thank so, you. So when we come back in 60 seconds, uh, we're going to be seeing a house in Draper with Jay. Someone dropping the ball on your mortgage? Recruiter professional Darren Rhodes, Utah's mortgage pro. He's got the skills, speed, and experience to win the best financing for your home. So draft Darren today at utahmortgagepro.com. Searching down home flyers is so 1980s. If you are ever driving around and you find your dream neighborhood, all you need to do is download Jade's free mobile app. Using this app, you can search for homes, investment properties, and vacant land available using your phone's GPS. What you need to do is text JSLC to 8777. Text JSLC to 8777. Okay, heading on down into Draper. We're on the east side overlooking the valley in a subdivision called Steeplechase. And this is obviously a really beautiful home. What makes this home so ideal? Well, 
This is exactly what buyers have been looking for lately and calling for in plans and stuff. Literally, if buyers, most buyers, if they were to draw out the plans, this is what they would want. They want the big master bedroom. They want a big open kitchen with vaulted ceilings that flows into big rooms. They want an office off the main, as you can see. They want a three-car garage. They want the master on the main, of course. Um, big master bath. Um, they want views. They want views off of decks. You know, walkout basements. You know, this thing has it all, of course. It does have it all. Now, looking at that fireplace, that's a travertine fireplace. The interesting thing is that it's not nestled against the wall like it usually would be. Yeah, it's actually freestanding in the middle of the room, actually breaking up so as you walk in the front of the house, you actually be looking at the glass and then you see the fire and the glass out the other side into that kind of living room. Very interesting. It breaks up the, and the living space perfectly yeah. without making it feel closed off. Absolutely. And then you can see as we're heading into the master it's into the master bath, there's just plenty of counter space. You gotta have those double sinks, right? That's standard. And that huge tub. And there's another one of those fireplaces, another look through fireplace, which is just super desirable. Those glass blocks have been popular for a while. They seem to never go out of style, really. The coffered ceiling, they've just done a really nice job with all their colors. Now going into the basement, you'll notice the extra high ceilings. Those were at least 10 feet. Yeah, beautiful. And they did it just right. I'll tell you the way they flow in, the way you go down the stairs and it just opens into a big open area. That's exactly what you want. The gentleman that actually owns this home is a builder. Um, and so he obviously knows this is what buyers are looking for. They want those views and look at the grounds outside. It might as well be a golf course. Obviously the back side of the house. And that little water, water feature to give you the, the sound running right. water. You gotta have that. And all the walking lights, beautiful. This is literally, this is what buyers are looking for right now and sellers are, you know, are building. So we're gonna come back after the break and I'm gonna tell you what's going on in the market. What a beautiful house, Jay. I woke up not knowing if I was going to feel sick that day, not knowing if I was going to be able to go to school or go to work. I was extremely fatigued. I was sleeping probably close to 16 hours a day. It was a hard way to live because you don't understand what's going on in your body and you feel like you should be healthier in your habits and you just feel horrible. Are you suffering from low thyroid or Hashimoto's? Do you have any of these symptoms? Our breakthrough approach for low thyroid and Hashimoto's is here. I feel like a regular healthy person. We just got them. They're beautiful. Completely brand new car. You gotta come look at this. It's a V6. It gets great fuel economy. I mean, I really like this car. It gets me all excited. And then I see the price. And I see the gas line. And I see all the bells and whistles. I'm telling you, why am I not? I should be driving this car. Acura. Smart luxury. Mike Hale Acura. Smart choice. Come to Mike Hale Acura. We have them. Now you can have one. You can always find us on MikeHale.com 24-7. ABC4 Utah wants you to ask the expert. During our 4 p.m. newscast, you'll see experts from Utah answering your questions on a variety of topics. Options Animal is here to help you take control of your financial future. Every Tuesday, we will answer your questions on the overall financial markets and how you can effectively manage your own investments. At Options Animal, we understand that nobody cares more about your money than you do. Just go to abc4.com expert and submit your questions to our experts today. And I've got Darren here for Mark in a minute. I think it's important to understand the loans and what's going on with them to understand where we've been and where we're going. So the build up to, up to 2007, explain your experience. Well, loans got so easy to qualify for. By the time we hit 2007, anybody could get a mortgage. I remember I had a pizza delivery guy that had only been on the job for three months come in. He wanted to buy a $300,000 house, and he could have qualified. We didn't 
write that loan. We sent that one off. Somebody might have, though. Yeah, right? that's right. Uh, it was amazing who could qualify and how. Yeah, because I always thought that if they had backing of real estate, it didn't matter if the guy make payments, the house was always valuable. That's right. They didn't realize, though, that everybody was an investor, and instead of buying one house, they were buying five houses. So we dropped from 2007 down to 2012. As everything equalized, we figure everything out. And so now they, everything changes at that point because our economy is doing really well at that point. And we actually bounce off the bottom at about two, uh, the first quarter of 2012. And we go run all the way up till the second quarter of 2013 where we're at right now. And we've appreciated now 29%. And so what do you feel, what do you feel in the market as far as loans? That's right, we've gained a lot of that appreciation back. And loans right now make a lot of sense. Um, they're not as easy as they were in 2007 by any means. Mm -hmm. But if you qualify, you can get a loan. That's right. Uh -huh. And so we're seeing a lot of a local appreciation because we're doing so well on jobs right now, right? That's right. Okay. Jobs, interest rates, those two things together are making our market really hot That's right, right now. And so the government has started to step back on the low interest rates. That's kind of their plan to kind of slow things down a little bit. But we're, we'll are we see a slowing, but we're not going to see a stop, right? Because right. We're, we're not, our local market is not driven by interest rates. It's actually driven by jobs. Correct. And we've talked about that before, that we're bringing in so many jobs. Just in last year, we brought in uh, 36,000 jobs, and we're expected to do it again this year because we're bringing all these tech companies in. And so that's kind of, in a nutshell, what we're expecting here is in the next little bit, we can we slow down a little as we go into fall, and, but we're still continuing to get demand with all these new jobs coming in. So that's market in a minute. This week's featured home is in Park City. Where else would you drive your car and park it on a Persian rug? Here it comes. Featured property day, we're headed down into Old Town Park City. The owner of this home parks his vehicle on a Persian rug. This is why people buy Park City properties, with their absolutely stunning location and their incredible views and entertainment areas. As you can see, their deck outside with their beautiful tub overlooking beautiful Park City. Looking down there, that's actually Park City, Maine. Headed back inside, you can see their bar off to the left and this just beautiful area that they've created for entertainment. The entire house is wired for an audio system and it's zoned separately for each room. Walking into this house, you can see that the entire house is built with mahogany wood. Yeah, it's kind of the theme of this home is they built it around mahogany, which is a very rare, expensive wood, but it's really, really beautiful. It's got kind of a red tone, which is beautiful into the entertainment center with their 80 inch television. Just classically hidden like that, isn't that beautiful? Now all of these windows are framed in mahogany wood as well. As you can see, there's quite a few of these beautiful pictures in here are gonna stay with the home. The artist on those is Peter Lick, and like you said, some of those will, will be included. Those are just so important to this property because they really obviously tie in so well to what they've created here. Head into the kitchen here with that polished granite and the stainless steel and that wood and that just kind of beautiful elegance as those things come together and just really unite into just a spectacular the contrast just gives it such a stunning look. Yeah, I love it. Also in that kitchen, the owner installed etched glass. Head into the master here, as you notice, they just put these fireplaces everywhere as they should be. Private fireplace in the master, why not? And what another one of those beautiful pictures. The bathtub is an aroma therapy jetted tub. And you're gonna see more of that mahogany wood with that red, just and that that chrome just makes it pop. It's just absolutely beautifully elegant. With the dual steam shower heads and the LED lighting throughout the shower. Yeah, and we're headed outside now, and this is a real showcase. You've got a gas fireplace there. You've also got radiant heat in the flooring and the benches of this property, of the patio. 
So, so it's so you can use it in all seasons. It sort of helps with snow removal. Yeah. So you can enjoy the patio all year. Without having to shovel snow, right? As you can see, the nightlife in Park City is just absolutely beautiful, and they've set that up with all the LED around the top level. And this is this is why you bike Park City, so you can just overlook this incredibly beautiful view. You gotta love Old Town Park City, and I don't know if you watched last program, but. Have you ever shown a house that had a ghost in it? I've actually sold a couple houses that just had ghosts in them. Actually, we got a lot of people that wrote in on Facebook about that. I guess when you're going to buy a house, people want to know, is there potentially something there? So if you want to know, there actually is an inspector for that. If you go to gotghostutah.com, they'll actually check for ghosts for you, okay? Thanks so much for tuning into the show. If you have any questions, you can look us up on Facebook. We'll be happy to answer those for you. And these are the houses from last week and what's going on with those.